In Washington, the House Select Committee is preparing to hear new testimony as soon as Friday. The new deposition comes as the committee closes in on its final round of hearings into the deadly Capitol attack. ABC's Justin Finch is in Washington with more details. After several public and private appeals and negotiations, sources tell ABC News former White House counsel Pat Cipollone will provide videotape testimony before the January 6th committee this Friday. There are a lot of issues that committee members can get at regarding the former president's behavior in those critical hours and days around January 6th. Cassidy Hutchinson, an aide to Donald Trump's former chief of staff, Mark Meadows, was the star of the last hearing testifying under oath that Cipollone told her not to allow Trump to go to the Capitol on January 6th. We're going to get charged with every crime imaginable if we make that movement happen. And in Fulton County, Georgia, an ongoing investigation into alleged attempts by former President Trump and his campaign to change the results of that state's 2020 election. A special grand jury issuing subpoenas to six former Trump campaign legal advisors and South Carolina Republican Senator Lindsey Graham. Graham reportedly held calls with Georgia's Secretary of State about its counting of absentee ballots. NBC asking Graham about those conversations in November 2020. Why is a senator from South Carolina calling the Secretary of State in Georgia anyway? Uh, because uh, the future of the country hangs in the balance. Graham's attorneys say he's neither a subject nor a target of Georgia's criminal probe and plans to challenge his subpoena in court. That Georgia grand jury also said to be looking for more details about that tape call in which Trump is heard asking Georgia's Secretary of State to find enough votes to defeat Joe Biden. All I want to do is this. I just want to find... Uh, 11,780 votes. That Georgia special grand jury does not have indictment powers, but could send recommendations to the district attorney who could bring charges. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.